the World Health Organization reported that 44% of adults that they looked at in a very large population study presented with pain in their lower back or their lumbar spine in the last month. It's an astonishing number. But I'm sure you know people who've had pain, who have pain, or yourself suffer from pain in this area, which makes it the second commonest place for people to feel pain in your whole body, second only to headaches. Now, chronic back pain is an enormous problem in the Western world and an increasing problem. There are a number of incredibly important structures in the back and amongst those structures are the muscles which have to balance and power your back so that you can do the movements or hold postures that we use every minute of every day. The muscles are particularly vulnerable and they often have trigger points within them. There are times where the primary cause of pain is actually the trigger points in the muscles. There are other times where some of the other big structures like the joints and in particular the disc become injured and they send out mu messages to the muscle to go into a protective spasm. That protective spasm turns on trigger points and so the trigger points then become a part of the chronic pain that, that you or others are, are suffering from. Also a very interesting thing happens that the original cause of the pain, which is either in the disc or in the joint, settles, but the trigger points that were set up remain, and then they become the primary cause of the ongoing pain. These are so easy to treat effectively, and even though you may see changes on, say, an MRI of disc damage, the damage on the MRI will not change for the rest of your life, but the inflammation related to it may have gone completely. The problem is that your body is stuck in this protective mode. The trigger points remain. You treat the trigger points. A lot of the pain, or all of the pain, can go.